and extorted for money. Really? Yeah. So what happened? This guy was helping me out, and then he got really aggressive with me, and he threatened to kick me off the whole stroll, and I gave him money. Okay, so sis, tell me your name, where you're from, and how old are you? My name is Grant. If you could talk as loud as possible. My name is Nicole Renee Grant. Okay. I'm from New York City. I am 38 years old. And you're 38 years old, and you're from Nakora. I'm from New York. New York. Yeah. Okay, so how did you find your way down here to Boston? About two years ago, my roommate moved up here, so I moved with him. Okay. And okay. then he sold the house, and I ended up homeless. Okay. So you moved up here with somebody, they shorted you somehow, and then you end up homeless. Right. Okay. How long have you been homeless for? About a month. One a month? One month. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, sis. Um, do you use? Yes, I do. I use crack and I use heroin. Okay. Um, what got you started on that? And how old were you when you started using? I was probably like 30 years old when I started using heroin. Crack, I just started using about six months ago. I'm sorry, say that again? Crack, I just started using about six months ago. Okay. So who got you started on the heroin? How old were you again? I was 30 years old. 30? Okay. Who introduced you to it? A good friend of mine. Really? Was it a female or a male? It was a male. Okay. Was it like a boyfriend? Yeah, it was like a boyfriend. Okay. So you started using with him... Um, then what led to the crack? The crack, I started using with another guy, the guy that I moved down here with. Oh, okay. So he got you using. Right. Okay. Um, so how do you support yourself out here? I do dates. Okay. Prostitution. Okay. This is the, the role right here. So I, I could I could understand I can understand. Um, can we go back and, um, can I ask you about, like, your childhood? Like, where did you grow up? And what was that like? Sure. So, um, I grew up in the Bronx. Okay. New York. Okay. And, um, my mother died when I was 18. Oh, I'm so sorry. She died from HIV. Oh, man. That had to hit different. Yeah, it hit me hard. Especially back then, because everybody didn't understand right. HIV back then, you know? Right. So, um, that had to be very hard. What about your dad? My father wasn't in the picture. He was never around? He was in the picture. He was never around. Okay. Okay. Um... Do you have any siblings? Yeah, my sister is 15. Your sister's what? She was 15 when my mother died. And I had to raise her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's beautiful. Okay, that's good. Um, do you have any children? No, I have no children. Oh, okay. Well, that's good since you know you're dealing with this stuff. Did, did you ever have a career? Yeah, I was an IT professional. Really? Yeah. IT makes good money. Yeah, it used to make really good money. So what was that like? Like, you know, working in that field, how did you get into it? Did you go to school? I went to school for two years. Okay. Which school? Information Technology. Okay. I went to school for two years, and then I went to be certified by Microsoft. I got certified by Microsoft. Uh, MCSC, that's what they call it. 
Okay. And once I got certified from them, I was making like $30 an hour. You was making $30 an hour? I know you missed them good times, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you could get back to that, you know? To get back to that. Have you um tried to get clean? Yeah, I've been to two treatment centers. Okay. How did that go? Instead of mine, a pump from this. Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, what's the worst thing you've seen being out here on the streets? Mm-hmm. This is sadness that everybody's going through. Okay. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a story. Mm. That's Nobody why I'm out here. Um, what's the worst thing that's happened to you being out here on the streets? Being extorted for money. Really? Yeah. So what happened? This guy was helping me out, and then he got really aggressive with me, and... He threatened to kick me off the whole stroll, and I gave him money. I'm sorry. Just to stay without any pressure. And it's crazy because how he gonna kick you off of a main street? Right. Like this ain't his street. Right. You know, that that's crazy. Um. Do you have any advice for anyone who hasn't done drugs? The advice I have is stay away from me. Stay away from drugs. Okay. People connect. Connect to people. You know. It's true. Don't isolate yourself. Exactly. You know, exactly. If you feel like you need to talk to somebody, reach out. Talk to people. Exactly. Exactly. All right, sis. Well, I'm not going to keep you. You are beautiful. Thank you. And I'm wishing you the best. And I thank you so much for your interview and your time mm -hmm. and sharing your story. All right, Sakura. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.